Welcome to A Talk With Armani. I am your host, Armani Amai. This is the show that takes you behind the scenes and in front of the screen of all different types of productions. Whether it's a feature film, a brand new TV show, or writing a book, I introduce you to those powerhouses that make those productions work. Make sure you stay tuned as I bring to you my first guest. Welcome back to A Talk with Armani. So there's so many different bestsellers and action-packed books and romances and dramas, but it's not very often that I get a chance to sit down with a very beautiful and talented author who tells it like it is in her bestseller. Please help me welcome Morale O'Kane. Thank you. So you got a book. Yes, I do. You started writing. You I said did. I had a story to tell. Absolutely. <laughs> what inspires you to do it? Um, pretty much, I felt that there was a gap in the industry. Okay. Um, I saw where individuals were looking for the product. What's the best product to own the hair? Okay. And then, two, um, not truly understanding the importance of ingredients and whatnot. Okay, so you got a copy of it. Let me look Yes, at it. I do. Okay. Oh, seven love languages of hair. So we've got seven love languages of hair. And I know my hair at times hates my guts. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> because we take it for granted. Absolutely, absolutely, we do. And so I incorporated my story as well. Okay. Um, I saw where I went through a tragedy mm -hmm. and, um, and just basically masked that with wearing hair weave. Okay, okay. And so I um, had to have a surgery. Okay. And when it came time for me to take it off, I was like, no. no I was no. not comfortable. Okay. I had been wearing it for 13 years. Now, wow. even my husband had seen my hair. Are and you that, serious? No one, not other stylists, mm -hmm. no one, but pretty much wore that as a mask, you know. Okay. And so, you know, worked in corporate America where, you know, you leave everything at the door mm -hmm. and you pretty much, you put this mask on, you go in and you do a job. Mm -hmm. And that's how I basically got through the trauma. And so what I, when I came out of that, basically being healed from that, okay. um, I started my journey of, okay, let me start taking care of my hair. The same way that I take care of my client's hair, but let okay. me start taking care of my hair so... Through research and some other things, I came up with the seven things that the hair ultimately loves wow. for hair growth. And, you know, I'm reading the back of your book, and it says, Morale Kane wrote seven love languages of hair, a fascinating account of her addiction to hair weave. So you're yes. addicted to it now. Well, I've overcome that now. Okay. I, I won't get rid of it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get rid of it, but I'm not wearing that mask. Okay. You know, I could take it off, you mm -hmm. know, and would be totally okay with it. You okay. know, so... The, the visions of what caused me to be behind that mask no longer haunts me. Let me okay. say it like that. Okay. So you said you went through a tragedy and to the point where you felt as though, because um, I know a lot of times when it comes to any part of cosmetology, regardless if it's excessive makeup, you know, we've got the ladies that like to wear the long eyelashes, yes. you know, they feel as though that's enhancing the way they look. They feel as though that's make that's part of their beauty now. Absolutely. You know, um, I've actually heard people say, oh my God, I can't go outside without my face. Well, I where is your, where's your head at? Where's your face? What you mean? Because exactly. you have your face on. What yes. you talking about? You know, but they're talking about makeup and not just, you know, a little lip gloss, a little no. eyeliner. It's like, no. I mean, it's full makeup. Absolutely. I mean, it's like beating and powder and pancakes and all kinds of stuff that they put on here. This whole batter that they need, this armor. Is that they need it? to go? Absolutely. And we'll sleep in like that as well. Yeah. We'll sleep like that as well. Yeah, and, and I heard that, you know, that um this young lady told me that, no, I go to bed with a full face. Uh, a what? <laughs> well, what are your sheets made of, ma'am? Because anything, right. is it cotton going to pick that up? Exactly, exactly. So, but I think that what we're using that as, and what a lot of people use it as, is a, um, a armor, like I said earlier. Absolutely. Or, you know, like you said, it's a mask. It's a protection mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. maybe we don't like that imperfection in our skin. Um, or maybe we don't like the fact that our face is fuller and our hair is shorter and we feel like we need it to be longer. I think that once we all get to the point of it's just an accessory. Yes. That's when it becomes healthy. Exactly. You know, I, exactly. Yeah, because the dependence upon it. Like, if you can't go to the 7-Eleven. Without having a full head of uh, weave and a whole bunch of makeup, then there's exactly. something wrong. Exactly. Or, you know, if you can't take it off in front of your family and your kids, your hair and whatnot, it does mm -hmm. not make you. But once you attach that mm -hmm. to something that is 
negative or mm -hmm. traumatic in your life, mm -hmm. then that's what is a problem. Because you said not even your mate had seen no, you? No. I... But what basically happened is I've always done my hair. Okay. I've always, you know, mm -hmm. been a cosmetologist for many years. Right. And so lost two children in a house fire. Okay. And suffered from from that house fire myself, breaking mm -hmm. both of my ankles. Mm -hmm. I was in a wheelchair. And oh, so goodness. I could not do my hair. But right. being depressed, not wanting to, my hair suffered. And so one day looked in the mirror and said, you know, okay, I have to come out of this. Mm -hmm. And um, and my, you know, resort to that was, okay, let me do my hair. Right. Be because, again, I'm coming from corporate America, and it's, you dress it up. Right. You know, you dress it up, right. leave it at the door. And so that's pretty much what I did. Right. Went to the beauty supply store, came home, did my hair, looked in the mirror, mm -hmm. and liked what I saw. You know, yeah. it felt good. You mm -hmm. know, you know, for a long time after suffering through depression, I felt good. And so, you know, my husband, oh, came home and, oh, my God, you know, you look beautiful. I, I was feeling stronger. Mm -hmm. And I stayed there. I okay. stayed at that place. Okay. And so not taking it off, not taking care of my hair, mm -hmm. it suffered. Right. Absolutely. So whenever I did, so I found myself hiding. Mm -hmm. Doing my hair, of course. You know, of course. Um, at late at night when mm -hmm. no one was up, you know, at the salon mm -hmm. when everyone was going, locking my door, mm -hmm. and so because when I took it off, I saw the brokenness. Well, I, and you know what, and I and I, I think also, and this is the, you know the psychology coming out of me, but I think also because of how you lost it, um, mm -hmm. you may have associated that loss with that bigger loss exactly and it's a constant reminder it, it you know was, what i mean and, it and, it, and even if it was on a subconscious level you know like maybe you wasn't thinking about it on the forefront but some part of your mind Absolutely. takes you back to that time when it took place and yeah. that can keep you stuck Exactly. I mean, that's a great tragedy. Children, that's, I mean, that's a great, great no, tragedy. absolutely. And I'm in the mirror. I'm facing that. Right. You know, so that's exactly what I saw. Absolutely. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more about your book and about what you got going on today yes. when we come right back. Okay? Absolutely. We'll be you. back in a few seconds. You're watching A Talk with Armani. Welcome back to A Talk with Armani. So I'm sitting here with Miss Morale okay, and she is telling us about her experiences and her travels that led her to write her book, The Seven Love Languages of Hair. So, yeah, I think that when we think about the tragedy and then what was to come, I, that probably was your healing process that helped you heal. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah, I, I could imagine. I mean, I, I can't imagine going through that, but having something else to focus on. Oh, absolutely. Um, doing hair became that, mm -hmm. you know. But again, just seeing the gaps in the industry, um, it totally led me to a cause. Okay. Um, and so I walked into that cause, you know, wanting to educate consumers mm -hmm. on all things hair. Absolutely. Okay, all righty. So now, so you've been doing hair for how long? For over 15 years. Wow. Basically, really coming from the womb doing hair, really. Okay, okay. But, you know, I was working in corporate America, mm -hmm. you know, working for Lucent Technologies was comfortable mm -hmm. and where I was at. But okay. then when that tragedy happened, I said, okay, God, it was like I was picked up from mm -hmm. my, you know, from my life and placed into a different life. And Absolutely. So I said, okay, what do I want to do to where, one, I have more control? Because I had other kids to raise. Mm -hmm. So where I have more control of my time, mm -hmm. to put more time into them. And then where, you know, I can settle and just love life. Okay. You know, and so um, went ahead and started my path as a cosmetologist. Absolutely. And then you, of course, and your name, Morale, like that's wonderful. Because, again, <laughs> I mean, I would just be speaking it. Morale, I got to boost my morale. Come on, Morale. You can do this, Morale. You understand what I'm saying? No, because it was like you already had it built inside of you that you yes. should be able to pick yourself up and just try to dust yourself off. It was going to take better. Baby steps, but come on, morale, you can do it. Get your morale together. Let's get, <laughs> get come on. Let's keep it moving. Exactly. We can't stay here, and it's sad. But at the same time, we know that God Absolutely. has a purpose for all different types yes. of things. So, what's going on with you? What's next? Tell I mean, me what's so, happening. So, basically, um, I'm doing a weekly show okay. called the Hair Debate. Oh, where we educate consumers on all things hair. Okay. And um, and again, we have the book, but the book. 
pretty much kind of starts right at the tragedy, right, you know, me being at the doctor, mm -hmm. um, at the um, a dermatologist's office, okay. coming out in front of my husband and whatnot, and then I go into the seven things that the hair needs for okay. optimum growth. Mm -hmm. And so um, I have another book that will be coming back after, you know, this book, okay. um, pretty much kind of talking about that tragedy and getting to this point mm -hmm. of being healed. And then, um, and again, um, you know, producing a show, um, okay. wanted to definitely see the hair debate grow further. Okay. into a show. So and, your um, hair debate, where does it come on at? Where can we watch the hair debate? Um the hair debate you can capture that on um on Facebook. Okay. Right now it's on Facebook. We are getting ready to move it to a YouTube channel. Okay. Hopefully to be picked up. Let me okay. just say that. But that's you know that's our goal. Mm -hmm. And um it's on um the hair debates page on Facebook. Okay now tell me what's the format of the show because we're talking about hair so do you got somebody's like natural versus processed? Is it like tell me what is the format? What's okay. going so on? So we have I'm like, what's it, happening? It, well, we <laughs> Four different segments, you know, okay. trying to keep it positive, mm -hmm. you know. So we have a, um, it's called What's Up Doc. Okay. Our, you know, first segment of the um, month. Okay. We have that. We have fall fashion and flair, where we kind of talk about the fall, the, the fashion dealing with hair. Okay. And um, we have a segment called Loose Strands. Okay. Where we have our writers, they write their own stories, talking mm -hmm. about different storylines of. of and it could be good, bad, the ugly. We welcome it all. And so we have the several different segments where okay. we pretty much kind of talk about it's called What's Up Doc. Okay. And we have a dermatologist that comes on and we, you know, really get deep into what the body needs from the inside out okay. for optimal growth. And okay. then we have the fall fashion and flair mm -hmm. where we talk about, um, we connect that fashion and hair. Okay. And so we bring about um, people that's in the industry okay. and, and different artists, designers to talk about that. Mm -hmm. And then we we have a loose strands, okay, okay, you know, where okay. we have our writers, mm -hmm. they write in their own story, okay. pretend to hear, and we take the good, bad, and the ugly, All right. you know, and so we read, um, take a story a month and share that and get feedback from our followers, and so... That sounds wonderful. I mean, I'm, I'm truly excited with, with definitely how everything is pattern out. And it's called The Hair Debate. The Hair Debate. And it's on Facebook. It's on Facebook where we debate, demarc, and discover all things hair. Wow. Well, I'm very, very happy. First of all, thank you so much for coming on the show. And not only just coming on the show and being my guest, but also for sharing your story and yes. then going into details about it. Because I believe that we get strength from other people's experiences. Absolutely. And knowing that it can take little things mm -hmm. that can help us overcome some of the most traumatic things and I'm Absolutely. sure that when you were going through things you know when you were going through your way and was talking about your hair people was like, like she worried about her hair after exactly. she didn't lost this Absolutely. and after she didn't been through that this what this lady worried about but it was what you needed that was your vehicle Absolutely. to jump in and ride past Absolutely. it all Absolutely. so I thank you so much for coming yes. on and sharing that thank and you. we want to follow you and be supporters of you what is your social media how can we continue to be part of your morale. What, what, <laughs> thank, you. What, thank you. Definitely, definitely follow us. Um, again, we're on Instagram, okay, at the Hair Debate, as well as on Facebook at um, the, at the Hair Debate. Okay. Yes. So it is Instagram the Hair Debate, Facebook the Hair Debate, Google the Hair Debate. Yes. Go on, and we're gonna do on YouTube absolutely, soon on the absolutely. Hair Debate. Yes. And when you go to www.atalkwithourmoney.com, you will also see a link that says the Hair Debate, and it'll bring you right back to the Great Hair Debate. Absolutely. But then also too, you can visit us. We're online um, at morellallthingshair.media. Okay. Okay. Yes. All righty. So we actually have clips of the hair debate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, fabulous. So we're going to show you some clips of the hair debate, exactly what she's talking about, and what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Check it out. True. What is truth to you? There's power in knowledge. My name is Morello Kane of Sweet Morality Salon. I'm a licensed master cosmetologist, have been serving clients for over 17 years. I'm an expert when it comes to hair analyzation and healthy hair care. Analyzing hair and knowing that product alone is not always the solution. Welcome to thehairdebate.com where we debate, debunk, and discover all things hair is a part of our value system. For the consumer, the benefit of joining thehairdebate.com 
is being a part of this diversifying platform whose education is based on this simple fact, hair is hair. Our board consists of professionals such as licensed cosmetologists, trichologists, doctor specialists, nurses, nutritionists that embark with similar values and commitment to our community. This multicultural hair platform will fill the gap of hair care and health care through education, displayed on our debate forum, blogs, professional interviews, and real life stories. Our hair gallery will display how diverse our industry is. We come to debunk the old traditions, old wives' tales, and experience advice in kitchen beauticians. The hair debate backed by professionals would be able to answer all of your hair questions and concerns. For the licensed professional, what does partnering with the hair debate mean? Being among the many salons that give back to the community, this website is here to make a real difference in this industry. We have partnered with dermatologist Dr. Nikki Hill, specializing in hair care, Salon Panay of Buckhead, TASB, Kamala Jones of Salon Studio Suites, Joel Crosby of Vitality Method, and Atlanta Natural Hair Care Professional, just to name a few. You will have access to a network with many sources and be the first to know what's happening in and around the industry. If it's education that you need or contractors to make enhancements to your salon, you name it, we will be able to connect you with a professional so that you will be successful as a salon operating in high standards. The hair debate will be the first source that consumers will come to trust and seek. TheHairDebate.com, where we debate, debunk, and discover all things hair. Wow, so they really get involved with the hair debate mm -hmm. and explaining things and going on with things and letting really expressing their opinions. Absolutely. Well, thank you once again for coming on. Oh, wait that. a minute. I have a gift for you. So it's the holidays, and this is one of our yes. last five shows of the year. And I just wanted to give you a token of my appreciation for coming on the show. It's not Absolutely. much, but <laughs> Merry Christmas. Absolutely. You know, a lot of us don't get gifts. Yes. We give them. <laughs> But we don't get them, you yeah. know what I mean? So this is my gift Beautiful. to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. Of course. We'll be right back. You're watching A Talk with Armani. In her debut book, Seven Love Languages of Hair, Morale O'Kane shares how through a tragedy she became addicted to hair weave so much so that her husband didn't see her hair for 13 years. Overcoming the addiction and now healed, the author opens up and shares what she hopes to be many helpful lessons that her painful experiences have taught her. The owner and master stylist at Morel All Things Hair Salon outside of Atlanta, Georgia, her guiding philosophy is that healthy hair is obtained and maintained from the inside out. Her book is a great resource for the novice and hair care professional alike. Seven Love Languages of Hair by Morale O'Kane. Available now. You're watching A Talk with Armani. Welcome back to A Talk with Armani. Thank you for tuning in, and thanks again to my very special guest, Morale O'Kane. Make sure you Google her, go on Facebook, go on Instagram to The Hair Debate, and if you still can't find it, go to my website, www.talkwitharmani.com, and look for her book. It might be able to answer some questions that you've been meaning to find the answer to. Until next time, stay safe.